Hello, my lovely humans, and welcome back to another fast speed build here on my channel, where we're building a hotel today. Today's 20 minute narration, this video is going to once again be going up, probably be around 11 o'clock. Um, so sorry for these late builds going up, but they're going up on the day. So I want to talk about yesterday's build. I built it, um, really early. It's going to go, it was supposed to be up around 7 o'clock, um, and it was a, it was a renovation. It's up on my gallery if you want to download it, and the, uh, Renovation is um, of a of the Movers and Shakers gym in Willow Creek. I'm currently right now renovating. You're gonna find out tomorrow. Currently right now renovating the Willow Creek like um, community lots and things like that because I don't really want to renovate the big houses. And honestly, there's only a few. There's like two other big houses I have to renovate, and I just don't want to do it. And so, currently, I decided to um, renovate. Like I said, that. Oh my gosh, I cannot talk today. I am so sorry. This is going to be a horrible voiceover. I decided to renovate Movers and Shakers because I did a LP. I can't remember what LP it was. And I was like, oh my gosh, this needs renovated, like, now. And so, I was like, okay. And it was really fun, and I really, really liked it and really, really enjoyed it. You should go check it out. Like I said, it's up on the gallery if you guys are curious to find out what my video corrupted. And um, I was getting ready to go through and edit it, and I had no idea that it corrupted until it did. And then I figured out that it did, and I was really offended, and I was really upset, as one is, when they figure, when they figure out that their um, video corrupted. And I was like, are you kidding me? No, I'm going to post. And so I <laughs> followed me on Twitter, and I was like, okay, Twitter, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but video corrupted. Sorry, folks. No video. No, um, no speed build or anything. So that video, since I build that day, um, I'm not going to take any, like, anything off me. I'm not going to add 102 days to this. Um, we're already 101, so I'm not going to do 102, but, uh, just know that I'm very, very sorry. I really did like that, you know, that build and that speed build, you know, I thought it would be really fun, really good, but yeah, you know, we're here now, so. I want to get, I just want to mention that the roof kind of looks this way at the end, but it doesn't look this way. So, you're like, why did I build a hotel? Well, because there's a 40 by 20 lot in Sims 4 called a new crest that is just freaking ridiculous, and I didn't know what to put there, and I saw someone, um, ex Sims, use a hotel in one of her Let's Plays, the Foreman's Let's Play. Um, because don't watch Foreman's Let's Play, I'm gonna link it down below, because it's just that amazing. And, um, I'll link City Living, because I think you should watch it from the beginning, personally. You know, if you're a true fan. But, it's it's whatever, if I remember. I might not link it. Just go to X Sims page. Um, she's amazing. But she decided to use um, the uh, the lot as a generic lot. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. What am I going to put on this 40 by 20? A what? A hotel! And also, um, in my Sims 4 series, I needed, um, which is called the Sims 4. It's my vanilla lot supply. No mods or anything. I need a kind of lot type area where I could go do scandalous things. Because, uh, yeah, I don't watch it series. There's, there is a reason. I can't tell you yet because it's a spoiler, but I'm going to link that series down below, though. I'll put the playlist in, um, the, oh my gosh, what's it called? The, the bio, description, the, whatever that's called down below, you know, I'm just going to put it down below. Yeah. How many times can I say that? A lot. And, um, I'm going to do that so you guys can, like, totally watch that series. It's very fun. Very, very new. Very fresh on my channel. Um, we're only, like, five episodes in. I think, and honestly, I could not have been more pleased with how it's coming out. It's one of my new, it's one of my favorite series to, to film at the moment. So, very, very excited. I do want to mention that a lot of these builds and stuff are going to be pre-recorded. Um, one, you pre-record builds, it's just something that happens, and so, you know, that happens, but also, I am leaving, and I'm still trying to figure out how many of these I need to pre-record. Uh, luckily enough, tomorrow is Friday, and, you know, that doesn't really help me for this, but it does help me, or tomorrow's not Friday, guys, tomorrow is Thursday, I'm lying to you, but I'm happy tomorrow's not Friday, uh, so I have a lot of building and stuff, I'm building a lot tomorrow, I'm hoping to get, like, a few renovations and stuff done tomorrow, and then this weekend, I'm also hoping that I get a few things done before I go. So I'm going to my dad's on Friday, and honestly, it's going to be consistent of me just, like, building and doing voiceovers and different things. I'm not to just, uh, like, pop out a few voiceovers. But yeah, so we built a hotel. It's super fun. It's a uh, 12 bedroom, 12 bathrooms. Obviously, each bedroom has a bathroom. I will not lie, every bedroom is the same, because, you know, I'm a generic person, and I think hotels are generic, personally. It's supposed to symbolize a motel, 
but I'd say it turned out to be really fancy to the point where it's like not a motel anymore. Yeah, I would say I've stayed in two or three motels in the past year or so because um, it's just cheaper when family comes to visit you like in college you stay in like in a motel and I'd say they, they get pretty good like they're pretty great so maybe it is a motel I don't know um it is called the sandy motel if i'm not mistaken but it's all right up on my gallery if you guys are very very curious it uses a lot of different packs um and things like that i really didn't try but it did so i'm sorry if that offends you um you know and it goes through some changes like this is basically the build but i i it took me a long time to make it's a two hour speed it's a two hour like full thing but it probably took me around three hours to make i just didn't feel like an hour of it I don't really know all I didn't film, so it's going to be really interesting watching it all back, but I got on camera when I didn't get on camera. I don't think the roof is on camera. Sorry about that, because it doesn't stay the same, and um, I think that's okay, you know? Um, so, yeah. There is some landscaping, um, very light landscaping. The reason why I love community lots right now is because it's not landscaping heavy, and honestly, landscaping heavy just annoys the crap out of me, because it's just like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of extra work that I just don't want to deal with, and so... That's why I'm really enjoying doing renovations um, for those type of builds. Also, right now I'm trying to finish Will Creek. I do want to mention that I'm doing this by clicking Shift. Um, you can only it only locates the one side that you're on, so it doesn't have to be back there behind the gate. So it's you know makes it easier. Some people don't know that. I didn't know that until recently. So it's Shift. Anybody is curious. But currently, um, since I am pre-recording, all right now I'm trying to finish the um, Will Creek area in the Sense War. I don't think that's going to actually happen. I will mention that I will, like, I don't think it's going to happen. I think, personally, I will probably end up moving into Oasis Springs and a few other lots. I need to renovate some smaller lots that are not going to take me, like, two hours to renovate. I don't have time for that. Um, and then, also, look out for probably a few more of those. Like, you guys liked it, so I don't, I don't think it's going to be, like, an issue or anything like that. But look out for a few more, um, like, speed builds. Of like apartments and things like that. I really enjoy them. I think they're really fun. They don't take a very long time to make and I can normally do it when I go. So you know we're just looking for some easy stuff for the moment and I promise once I get back which is the first week of June is I think when I'm coming back. I don't have videos past the first week of June so I hope I come back. Um, or <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm sorry I can't say that Bob. And um, so the first week of June I'm pretty sure is when I come back. And in that first week, we will definitely be doing some other type of, uh, some harder builds. I will, I'll try to tackle a few bigger renovations and a few bigger things. That way it's not so small, and that way they're not just like, all oh, apartments or whatever they end up being. I'm just, I'm just worried, okay? And I know some people don't even think apartments are speed builds, but I think they're speed builds, so, yeah. I want to mention that this place, because we were talking about the place, does have a whole entire lobby area, so that's pretty cool. Has a parking lot, not that we have cars, but there's fake cars. We're about to do it right now. This took me forever to do, then to figure out, but I figured it out, which is really nice. Um, I had to watch like five or six videos, and I was like, oh, that's super duper easy, Jacob. You made this so much harder in your head, and it's true, I did, but that's okay. Um, and also, it has, like I said, it has an entry area, like a lobby type area, where you would go to check in if you're playing for a realistic gameplay. But also, if you are not, you can just go to a room. It doesn't matter to me how you like to play your game. I'm not going to judge you. And it also has a gym. The gym is very, very high class. Um, I won't lie. I use fitness stuff. I should use base game for gym stuff because, like, a gym. But I kind of want a rock climbing wall because both the lobby and the gym are two stories high. So I was like, we could fit a rock climbing wall in here. Why not use one? You know? I don't understand it. It goes in my file way. So I don't really hold my... Um, my thing accountable. I do want to mention that I'm really mad we don't have tall signs. I wanted a sign that could like go above the building. Not like on the, the roof of the building, but like a tall, like the McDonald's sign or whatever. I wanted one of those for this particular build. And um, you can't get those because they don't exist. Or if they do, I could not find it. I spent a very long time looking for it. Um, probably that's what probably took me three hours to build this build. But either way, it was super annoying. And I can't do anything about it. So what else is there to talk about? Bedrooms are all the same. You're gonna make you're gonna watch me make one bedroom and then multiply that bedroom by a bunch. Um is there anything else that I need to mention about the build? I don't know. I don't think so. It's set in Newcrest, it's up on the gallery. 
I don't know, we're going to go through some different window styles. It's going to take me a minute to figure out. Oh, we're getting into the bedroom. The bedroom's really cute. I like the bedroom a lot, actually. And especially since I'm going to be spending major time in it. Um, you know, I'm happy that I like the bedroom because I'm not awkward if I didn't, you know. And you're like, oh, we're in this bedroom. I don't really like it type thing. I think we're going to do the bedroom. I don't know, I do a lot of things and then I do the bedroom, I think. The bedroom is interesting because it's going to be the same color throughout, and so I didn't want a dark color because it's already a dark room, and so I don't remember, really remember what we go with. There are screenshots at the end of this. I know I'm kind of interesting when it comes to screenshots because sometimes I add them, sometimes I don't. This one in particular does have screenshots, which is pretty cool, so you're welcome. And the room next to this bedroom right here, the first bedroom, is the actual lobby, which I enjoyed. I thought the lobby turned out to be looking really nice. It's the last room we're going to do. Also, I was looking for a 3x3 three three window, luckily not the Strangerville window, which I don't ever use because I get to like, truly build in Strangerville. These windows are some of my new favorite windows of the whole game, so why buy Strangerville, you ask? Um, For the windows, my gosh, are they good. You know, that pack has been really impressing me here lately. I've had to do some, some things with it, Um, you know, triple stuff, and I've been super duper impressed, so thank you the world for doing that for me. Now you're gonna ask yourself why did I not change all the windows? Personally I should have took off the windows. It's gonna become a problem later on, but I didn't do that. And that's a valid question. So this is me looking for the sign. Honestly I should oh no it's not. It's me putting these like cute little posty things. Which I think would be so cute if we had a like a post that I can stick in the middle. But I don't think we do. I could not find one. Now that does not mean they don't exist. It just means Jacob's blind and he couldn't find one. Because, like, it extends past, and also, I'm an idiot, because I didn't put them, like, in the thing. They're super hard to place, too. Like, it's almost super annoying, because the lot is so small. I really wish the lot was more like a 40 by 30 than a 40 by 20. I think that would have been a much better lot, but it worked out really nice for what it needed to do, which was, um, this be a, uh, you know, a hotel. See, I needed something to go there at the pole, and it just, it didn't exist. And I spent a long time looking for it, I believe. And I strongly believe that, you know. Let's see. I'm trying to think of all the things I can talk about. And honestly, I don't really have a lot of things. Today, I didn't do anything. I watched Little Simsy live at 4 o'clock. Um, I watched x and Sims Get Famous LP. I kind of got further on my my uh, my TV show, Grey's Anatomy. I'm a little further than that. Not done with the newest, like, the season 13. But I'm really close to being done with season 13, moving on to season 14. And then, let's see, what else is there that I did? <sighs> I'm trying to think. I finished the book I was reading, listening to, called um, Lovely Wives, My Lovely Wife, which was a very nasty, gross thriller that I enjoyed severely. Um, you might enjoy too. I don't have a full review yet up, but uh, it will be coming here very soon. I'm not on my channel, just on my Goodreads page. And of course, if you want to find my Goodreads page or anything, do with book too. It's so all I can do that. Oh, oh, important news. Since we're base game is free right now, it's a controversial topic because everybody on Twitter is throwing a hissy fit. I don't understand why. If you enjoy the game, should you really be throwing? I am it's going to piss a lot of people off. I'm sorry. But I'm going to put my two cents out here because I think it, personally, um, I think, I think I need, I need to, to address it. I think that's very important that I address it. That there's a lot of people on social media, especially Twitter right now. Toxic Twitter is a thing, and toxic Twitter is like winning. And just like, you know, um, oh, what is that community? You know, the where you make a video about like uh, Shane Dawson doing something stupid, Sandalist or whatever. I can't think what that's called, but you know what I mean. It's, it's a community that's out there, and um, Twitter is a part of that community. And right now, in the Sims community, we have several fun things coming up. Um, pretty freaking sure that we have a trailer dropping here very very soon hopefully it's not when i'm on my break like i'm gonna be so mad if the trailer drops while i'm in tennessee i'm gonna be like are you kidding me i'm not bringing anything but my writing laptop as i'm writing in tennessee um because i write every day i've not written today yet i think i'm gonna write while this does its thing but you know it's just like one of those things of where you just kind of have to deal with it but the trailer should be dropping here any minute. I have a feeling it's going to drop on Friday. Like, this coming up Friday. So, like, you know, in two days. 
if so, I'll do a full coverage thing about it. Um, if the trailer does drop on Friday, that's the only video I'm going to be posting, except for this, like, you know, for whatever video pops up for this later on that night. But it's not going to be, like, any of the pre-planned videos. I'll schedule that pre-planned video for a different day, basically. And, um, so yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things. But, a side note, there's a lot of big things coming out for, you know, we have EA Play, which I didn't get invited to, wasn't expecting to, but, you know, it still hurts a little. And, <laughs> me complaining, I'm sorry, it's, I don't care. You know, I'm happy for everybody who did get invited, and really hope everybody has a great time. I know everybody ends up having a good time, I always hear good things about EA Play, and I can't wait to watch all the live streams with my favorite people in it. Personally, I could not be happier that the people who got to go get to go. So, I'm very happy this is your first year going. Um, hopefully, I'll join you at some point down the line. We're also, guys, we're nine away from hitting 150 subscribers. That will make me cry. I won't lie, but it's fine. <laughs> we're going to move forward. Um, and so, a part of this, they decided to release the Sims 4 base game for free. You guys probably already know about it. It's all over Twitter. If you guys have a Twitter, maybe you guys don't have a Twitter. It's all over YouTube at the moment as well. I didn't make a video about it because there's so many other people making videos about it. I just didn't see the point. I'm just going to mention it right here. And there's a lot of people on Twitter who've had the base game for, I don't know, would say the five years the base game has been out, or would say two years, or would say two months, or would say yesterday. I mean, the people who got it the day before it went like, you know, that's a bit annoying. I'd be kind of annoyed too because I was like, oh, I paid all that money. And now I don't even get it, you know? Yeah, okay. I can see the the point being there, but everybody else is throwing a hissy fit who's had it since, like, I don't know, um, week of release. They're like, oh, I can't believe it's free. Well, my personal opinion on it is that the base game goes on sale, like, every other week. It's not like it's a random occurrence when the base game goes on sale. It just goes on sale. Like, it's just one of those things that happens, and we all kind of are just there, and we just kind of you know, deal with it, it's just one of those things, and so, I don't like it when people complain about stupid things, you know, and I think the Sims community likes to complain about stupid things, I have valid complaints, um, I think everybody thinks their complaints are valid, though, so, like, do I really have them? Probably not, it is what it is, but I would like to mention, particularly, before we end this, that if you own the base game, you should be grateful for a game that brought you so much joy, and not be mad, because... You should not be mad that it's free. Brand new players are getting to welcome it into their arms. People who might need it to survive, um, that seems a bit overdramatic, I get it. But The Sims 4 is literally the thing that calms down my anxiety. I would be so much bad if I didn't have The Sims. And so, yes, I think people need this game to survive. I think everybody has their own way of coping with things that happen in their life, and The Sims was mine. I'm so forever grateful for this game, and I think, you know, it deals with a big reason of that. And so, you know, say what you want about that, but it is what it is. And I think another big part of the reason why people are just getting like, I don't know, people get mad when things are free because they had to pay for it. It's $40. The base game is $40 if you buy it full. 90% of the time, you don't have to buy it full. You can also buy it used and on sale from Amazon for anything for cheaper than that. You don't have to buy the pay the $40 if you buy um, if you bought opening weekend or you put on pre-order before the March release or whatever when it came out, you know, you paid $60 if you wanted the, the bonus thing. I don't care what you paid for it. Don't complain. Be excited for new players getting to interact with the game. For somebody who, maybe you're a creator and you're mad because you had to pay for it. Honestly, if you're a creator and you're mad, that's a bit, mm, no comment. But, you know, if you are and you're mad about it, well, maybe that person watching your video or watching your stream or whatever you do to create videos for the Sims community, um, maybe they never got to play it because they didn't have enough money and now they get to and so now they get to enjoy it. I just don't understand why people are complaining about it. Please let me know in the comments down below if you're a part of this, this posse of people who are complaining about it and why you think it is valid to complain about somebody else getting something for free when you had to pay for it. Um... It's not like they're getting a house for free that you had to pay for. It's a game that costs forty dollars. That um, sure, some of you guys had to save, and I know is is hard to save money, especially when you're in a tight situation, and so you splurge on a game that you're really looking forward to. But there's probably people out there who came and splurge on a game. I don't know. I can see both sides of the story, but I also it makes me mad because I just don't think there should be a community for that. I don't think we should be hating on a game that we love 
to the point where it was trending on Twitter, and I don't think it was trending on Twitter because people were in love with it. I'm sorry, just being honest. It's great policy for the game, especially if they're about to release something big. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make a big fat thumbs up, throw a comment down below, hit subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for another beautiful video. And, um, yeah, so enjoy the screenshots that are about to come up, or are playing right now, because my narration likes to do tricks with me. Okay, talk to you guys soon.